They are the Sonic Team of the Week. Mark Haggard standing by with a happy group of Panthers. We got the beauty up here, and we got the brawn back there. And first, the beauty. We're going to hear from the Carolina Forest Varsity Cheerleaders. We Let's are Panthers in the end zone. We are Panthers in the end zone. We <laughs> Carolina Forest in the zone. And, Coach, it's been a while. Coach Drew Hummel, it's been a while. You weren't in here last year. No, we had an opportunity to come in here last year, uh, second to the last game, clinch a playoff spot, and we got knocked off by West Florence. So it's good to be back. Well, you're in a bad, uh, kind of a bad attitude this week after going 0-2 in your first two games. Really tough schedule you played, and then uh, a tough game tonight against St. James. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it's been a tough two weeks. It's been a tough two weeks for the coaching staff and the players. It, it's been hard, you know. Question a lot of things. I, you know, the loss to Soxty was, was really disappointing to us and, and kind of unexpected. And uh, we had a little hangover with it. And uh, we had to get over it and everything. We knew we were a good football team, and we just had to go do it. And, and we did it tonight. 20 points in the fourth quarter. You were 15-15 in the fourth quarter. 20 unanswered in the final stanza to win this thing. Yeah. Um, you know, we got down 12 nothing real early in the football game. It was 12-0 with six minutes to go. And I couldn't be more proud of the kids and the coaching staff for uh, keeping them all together and uh, just keep fighting. And we got it back to 15-15 at the half. Uh, they, they had the ball the whole third quarter. I think they had an eight, nine-minute drive, and we had a big goal line stand down there to change the complexion of the game. And then I think in the fourth quarter, you know, our, our size up front on both sides kind of wore them down. And, uh, you know, we, we could really pound the ball and had a couple big pass plays. When I saw that score early come down on our Twitter, I said, boy, is Drew Hummel going to survive the shark attack? We're going to survive it. <laughs> We're going to survive it. These kids never quit and uh, couldn't be more proud of the coaches of hanging in there together and making the necessary adjustments that needed to be made. And uh, it just tells a lot about what we are and, and where we're going. We know we're a good football team. We played a couple of good football teams that are undefeated and, uh, and had beaten us. Uh, sure, we want to be 3-0 and right now, but it didn't happen. But uh, we can win the rest of the eight. I know about Harold Atkinson. Of course, he's an all-zoner. Two touchdowns tonight, and he uh, had 112 yards on 16 carries. He made 17 tackles on defense. But who's this Napier Armstrong fella? Well, Napier, Napier is our uh, – we, we have a two-headed monster at tailback. You know, we, uh, we decided to play Harold some on defense, so that's going to take some away, some of his carries and doing some things. But we're real comfortable with Napier running. Uh, I think he had 15 carries for 95 yards tonight and a touchdown and uh, the most carries he's had. So uh, we're real proud of what he did and what, what he's going to be in the future. But having said all of that about the offense – who does the HTC game ball go to this week? Well, you know, the offense is, is pretty explosive to what we have. I mean, you know, we, we've got good quarterback play, running backs, and explosive receivers, and our front's getting better and better every game. Yeah, but this defense gave up 90 points over the first well, two games. you know, we, our defense knows we're better than how we played, and, and we face some tough offenses and giving up a lot of big plays. And... Uh, you know, after giving up 12 points tonight in the first six minutes to hold uh, any team to three points for 42 and shut them out in the second half, this game ball goes to our defense. They deserve it. They, they've responded, and uh, they've been under the wall. So this defense goes to Coach Brunson and his defensive staff and all these guys. All right, Coach Brian Brunson, let's talk about the defense. Uh, Harold Atkinson, notwithstanding, uh, you've got a lot of guys to talk about on this defense, a much maligned defense over the first two weeks. I'll tell you, we're right in the middle of some injuries. Uh, one of our key leaders, Kyle Rice, suffered a broken hand last week. So we looked to somebody to step up and be able to run our defense in college uh, from the huddle. And J.T. Hux has done a great job at just, as just a sophomore. We've got two senior leaders at our safeties with Jamar White and Corey Lindale, and we've got senior play up front. And uh, I tell you, uh, thanks to the offense for letting us borrow Harold a little bit today and uh, Marvin Taylor off the edge. I just think we got a great group that today we talked about persevering through trials and, and, and not get holding our head down. And, you know, giving up 90 points the last two weeks, it's been a lonely island. And these gentlemen responded tonight, and uh, they grew up tonight. I was very proud of them and our coaching staff for putting together a great game, uh, game plan. The Carolina Forest defense gets the HTC game ball, and, Coach, it doesn't get any easier uh, in the upcoming weeks. You're in the midst of four road games in five weeks. Uh, you've knocked out the first one tonight, but then you go to White Knoll, 
Then you host Myrtle Beach. Oh, boy, lucky you. <laughs> you get a powerhouse like Myrtle Beach, and then I, I think you go to Beaufort and you go to Goose Creek. Well, it's going to be fun. I mean, that's, you know, we made the schedule. You know, we're a 4A team. We're sitting on the bubble of being a big 16 school, and we need to play these people. I mean, that's the only way we're going to get better. That's the only way that, you know, we're going to grow. And, uh, you know, our kids will be up for the challenge. And we're going to get better every week. And, uh, you know, our whole goal is to be ready by the time region play hits. And I think this is going to be a pretty good football team and a dangerous football team come about week seven, eight, once we get in there. You have a cell phone, don't you? I sure do. Do you ever text and drive? Never. Don't text and drive. This is what it's all about, folks. The Chevy dealers have uh, given us these thumb rings to remind you not to text and drive. Don't even look at your phone. If your car's rolling and you're driving, don't do it. It's dangerous. All right, and uh, hey, and uh, yeah, Drew wanted to remind me that uh, the Coney Bowl is sitting where? Well, we won the Coney Bowl tonight. Yeah, uh, where's the trophy? The, the rival thing. Well, Coach, Coach Blackwell and Coach Bratcher had it, and... Uh, I don't, I don't know what, if they're uh, taking it to their, to their pads back there tonight. I don't know, but I haven't seen it yet. You've won the first Sonic Coney Bowl. Congratulations. A big win over St. James High. The Carolina Forest Panthers in the Chevy end zone. Let's hear it, guys. Yeah!